Okay, we have an integral on the board from the MIT Integration B 2015, problem 11. We have the integral of cosecant x minus sine of x dx. Okay, for my first step, what I want to do, I want to change that cosecant into uh, 1 over sine. So we'll rewrite this as cosecant as 1 over sine x uh, minus sine x dx. Then I'm wondering if I just get a common denominator, maybe I can put these two together. So we'll multiply top and bottom here by sine x. So then we're gonna have integral of the square root. On top we're gonna have one, this is gonna be sine squared x. So we're gonna have one minus sine squared x all over sine x. And the good thing about that is this piece right here is just cosine squared because we have this identity cosine squared of x plus sine squared of x equals one. So when you just subtract sine squared x on both sides, you get back to just cosine squared x. So then we'll have the integral of the square root of cosine squared x over sine x dx. But now this cosine squared and we have the square root, we'll take that out as cosine. So we can write this as just cosine of x over the square root of sine x dx. Now I think we're in good shape for a u substitution because the derivative of sine is cosine. So let's call our u sine x and then our du cosine x. Then we'll rewrite this again as, notice we just have our du on top here. So it's gonna be du over the square root of u um, but then let's just get that into, let's write this as a power so we can use the power rule more clearly. So it's gonna be u to the minus one half du. Then we integrate using the power rule. We'll have u to the one half, divided by a half is two plus c. Then we can do our back substitution, but let's rewrite this half power as square root. So for our final answer, we're gonna have two times the square root of sine x plus c. And that's it, so pretty quick one there. Hope you like that, I'll stop it there, thanks.